this video we're going to have a look at timetables and making sure that we can read information from them and interpret them correctly. So let's have a look at it first before we answer any of the questions. This is part of a train timetable and it shows trains leaving at various times throughout the morning. So the first train we can see leaves London at 10.20, it then calls into Watford station at 10.33, it doesn't stop at Northampton and it doesn't stop at Coventry and then arrives into Crewe at 13.03. So the trains have a maximum of five different stops and there are one, two, three, four, five trains in this particular part of the morning that we're interested in. So a train leaves London at 10.35, what time will it arrive in Crewe? So I'm going to look across for the train leaving London at 10.35, which is this one here. So it's this timetable I'm interested in. And I want to know when it arrives into Crewe. So I can see it's in Watford here, in Northampton at 11.29, doesn't stop in Coventry, and arrives into Crewe at 13.31 hours in the 24-hour time format. The second part of this example, George has a meeting in Crewe. He will need to arrive in Crewe before 2 o'clock to make it on time. So let's have a look. This train gets in before 2 o'clock, so does this one, so does this one, however these two won't work. George will be in the crew too late. It also says he's catching the train from Watford, write down the time of the latest train he can catch. Well there are three trains he could possibly catch which get him in on time, and of those three, this one here is the latest one. So the time is 11.10. In the third part, we need to work out how many minutes it should take the 11.32 train from Watford to get to Coventry. So let's find that one first. The 11.32 train is here, and we're going to see how long it takes to get into Coventry here. So I need to work out the difference in time between 11.32 and 13.35. And I'm going to do this by adding on little bits of time. So first of all, I'm going to make 11.32 and I'm going to add on an hour because it's a nice, big, easy unit of time to work with. If I add on one hour, that takes me up to 12.32. And I'm just going to keep a track down here of how much I've added on. If I then add on another hour, that takes me up to 13.32. And again, I just keep track of how much I've added on. Now, I'm pretty close to the arrival time here. I just need to add on some minutes and from 13.32 to get to 13.35 I need to add on three minutes. So I can see that in total I've added on one, two hours and three minutes. Now I need to show this in terms of minutes rather than minutes and hours. So one hour is 60 minutes, another hour is 60 minutes and then I've got my three minutes. When I add all those together I can give the final answer as 123 minutes to get from Watford to Coventry. Here's a question for you to have a go at yourself. Make sure you familiarise yourself with the table and you understand what it's actually telling you. Then try and answer the questions. Pause the video here, hit play when you're ready for me to go through the answers. OK, let's look at some answers to these then. So the bus leaving Anderley at 13.03 arrives in Ertop at 14.12 in the afternoon. For Andy to get to his meeting in Dartford B, before 2 o'clock and to make it on time, the latest bus he can catch leaves Baddersley at 13.15. The 13.05 bus from Crampton arrives into Ertop at 13.44. So to get from 13.05, counting up in units of time, I'm going to add on 5 minutes. Because what this will do is make it into 13.10, which is easier for me to add on 10 minute blocks of time. Now from 13.10 I'm going to jump to 13.40 by adding on 30 minutes and once I'm at 13.40 hopefully you can see that I'm just going to add on 4 more minutes to get to 13.44. And adding up all of the increments of time down here, 5 plus 30 plus 4 shows that the bus takes a total of 39 minutes to get from Crampton to Ertop. Here's a second question for you to have a go at. Pause the video here, make sure you're familiar with the table and understand what the questions are asking for. Hit play when you're ready for some answers. OK, the bus that leaves Cartop at 9.03 will arrive in Trimbley at 09.50. For Paula to reach her appointment in Netherby, and she needs to arrive there before 12 o'clock, she's catching the bus from Cartop. The latest bus she can catch leaves at 11.05 in the morning. The 12.12 bus from Netherby is going to get in to Sutterton at 13.05. So 
So if I start with 12, 12 and add on increments of time, what I can see down here is I'm going to add on 8 minutes to get to 12, 20. Once I'm at 12, 20, I can add on 40 minutes to take me up to 1 o'clock or 1300. Now the bus gets into Sutterton 5 minutes later at 1305 and that's my entire journey there. So all I'm going to do is add up all of these increments of time that I've used 8 minutes plus 40 minutes plus 5 minutes gives me a grand total for the journey time of 53 minutes and that's how long the bus took. Well done if you got all of the questions in this section correct. Thanks for watching. Thank you.